Right, Did you hurry the just, fuck up? Let me just hold on. Let me just get this set to the side. All right. I just I'm just trying to get all my shit arranged over here. I mean, are you are you ready? I've been ready. All right. I've been waiting on you. You're the one fucking holding this up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Welcome back to another week, another week. God damn it. Another week. Motherfucker. I when know. are we going to get canceled? When? I don't, I don't <laughs> I've been, know. I've been waiting on when, this When, Lord, when? When <laughs> will I see the sailboat? <laughs> When's my time? Oh, it's my a, God. It's a schooner. <laughs> now, you dumbass, it's a fucking sailboat. Mallrats is such a great fucking movie. Oh man, it was a that was a fantastic film. Oh, it was so good. It's so such a shame it tanked at the box office. Oh my god, it did. It did. It was it was fucking, you know. It was it was horrendous. They were like, "What happened to him?" <laughs> it's a fucking Kevin Smith movie. Of course it got fucking. Of course it tanked. <laughs> He's not known for putting out Oscar worthy material. <laughs> like, he was executive producer on Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that movie fucking tanked too. <laughs> it it won an Oscar. What are you talking about? Just because it won an Oscar doesn't mean it was a good movie. First off, that was a gr- that was a great off, fuck. That was a great fucking movie. How dare you? All just right, like, hey, like hey, hey, remember me? We went to kindergarten together. Bam. I, I love like the, that. I don't like them apples, Will. So me and the wife got into a discussion, and I want to get your opinion on it and everybody else's, of course. Um, All right. I was watching Taken Three, right? And oh, good lord. Yeah, and the and the wife is just sitting there like, oh, it's, it's fuck. He's an old man. It's not like you know. Are you serious right now? This is he's no John Wick. I'm like Brian Mills could kick the shit out of John Wick. <laughs> like, is dude, if you've seen the Taken series, like fucking like t- just all three movies, right? Put those up against the three John Wick movies. Four now, but fucking the the original three John Wick movies. Brian Mills could kick John Wick's ass. Uh, just out of just out of sheer respect for Liam Neeson, I'm going with Brian with Brian. Okay, so she said she said, well, Keanu Reeves did a lot of training and shit for for John Wick. I was like, yeah, so did Liam Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson was trained by SAS. <laughs> like fucking, he's a legit badass. <laughs> Keanu Reeves worked with a choreographer. <laughs> yeah, fucking Brian Mills is just like, all right, I'm here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, oh my oh, god, I saw. He actually I saw choreographed some... his own fight scenes. By the way, I'm letting everybody know that right now. Liam Neeson choreographed those fight scenes. Like he was legit. Like doing shit to these people <laughs> also also i read uh, a piece of trivia that's absolutely fucking hilarious um liam neeson almost didn't get cast brian mills was originally supposed to be played by jeff bridges yeah that moment of silence and look of confusion is real the, the fucking lebowski all right lebowski fucking lebowski was about to do it the Lebowski's no badass. No, no. Forget about the fucking toe. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, seriously, oh. that's fucking oh. insane to me. Speaking of movies, I saw something today that fucking terrified the shit out of me. It was, uh, it was some Disney, like Disney insider or something, put up this article about a live action, a goofy movie. And I was like, can you imagine the fucking how horrific it would be to see Goofy as like a walking real thing. Like, like that's the thing nightmares are made of. That they're they're going too far. They're, they, they, they're, they're, there's no turning back now. All right. Plus, well, plus, I don't think Disney should do that because that appropriates dog culture. You know. Well, luckily it was a April Fool's article. Yeah, that's that's cultural appropriation. All right. <laughs> you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to piss off the dogs and and how are they going to insert the homosexuality into that like it just doesn't make any sense you know they're going to insert it 
Well, luckily, it's not going to be a. It's not a real thing. It's not coming to fortuition. Like, but like, for, like I was. I was for, just what, trying to, what the fuck was that word? <laughs> like, I I don't know. Fruition, know. you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> for fortitution. I'm the decider. God damn it. Like, fuck, dude, you are. Oh my god, you just George Bushed like a motherfucker. Like, there's a glitch in the matrix. A lot Maybe of our should, imports come from other countries. No shit. <laughs> like, Maybe I should run for president. Maybe. I mean, you got a chance. I mean, look what we got. Fuck Joe Biden, by the way. F- dude, fuck them all. Fuck. Yo, for the first time in since he started running, I'm just putting this out there. Not voting for Tester this year or next year. Fuck John Tester. No. Oh. Who the fuck is John Tester? He is one of our senators here in Mon- in the great state of Montana. Oh yeah, Which, you guys you guys have a seat at the table too. I forgot about that. We have two motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking weird. Like and, okay, so the Montana our, senators, the Montana senators are kind of like Rhode Island senators. It's like all right, we got to give them two. Like <laughs> fucking, I don't know why. But think about the chuckle. Think about the chuckle that happens in in the Senate when the guys from Rhode Island walk in. Like they're just sitting there, like, oh, there's the guys from Providence. <laughs> Actually, uh, during the Obama Mitt <clears throat> Mitt Romney election, excuse me, guys. You okay there? <clears throat> Acid reflux. Fucking. Um, Oh my God! It's, it's like fuck. I'm allergic to saying Mitt Romney. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Fucking Mormons. Him and his but eight anyway, wives. Anyways, during the uh, the Obama Mitt Romney election, um, like our Senate election, it was like fucking huge. It was a fucking huge election that year. Like the Republicans and Democrats were fighting over the. Over the fucking Senate seat in Montana. Wow. It was fucking like, you know, usual. <laughs> like Mitt like Mitt Romney himself did a fucking spot for T V spot for the for the Montana Senate election. Oh my God. Fucking politicians, man. I swear to God. Oh. Politicians but, suck. Which is why I have the which is why I have the shirt. Dude, have you read the Restrict Act bill? That thing is yeah. fucking terrifying. Oh my god, it it repeals the Freedom of Information Act. Yeah. Like okay, so I actually got into this on uh on uh One Nation Under Fire, uh my podcast by the way, guys. I'm going to that's a shameless plug right there. Subscribe yeah, to my you Patreon. You are shamelessly <laughs> You are subscribe shamelessly to my plugging. personal Patreon so you can get my podcast without this goofy bastard. Um <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I actually got into that on One Nation Under Fire, and um, yeah, I, I actually said flat the fuck out in, in case you guys missed it. Um, they can ban TikTok, all right? Roughly 300 million Americans, uh, 150 million of which are using fucking TikTok right now. That's a pretty common fucking social media, right? So yeah. if they can ban and TikTok, not to mention, that's like that's like the that's like the least scariest thing. Yeah, about if this they piece can, of legislation right now. If they can ban TikTok, they can ban CNN and Fox and MSNBC and Facebook and Instagram and fucking. Not only that, they want control of like your Wi-Fi. They want control mm. of uh, your your banking information, like everything. Literally, they will have their foot dipped in every portion of your fucking life. If it's on the internet, they fucking and over a million people use it. They fucking have access to it. It scares the fucking shit out of me. Yeah, I mean, I don't want I don't want people fucking like you know gaining access to my fucking home cameras and shit. Yeah, no, that's no. also part of the bill. They're they're gonna yeah, gain yeah, access they, to your they fucking gonna, home cameras. And do you they, have any idea? Okay, so if they if they actually passed it and fucking like, let's just say it passes, right? It, it passes and they have access to my home cameras. I'm setting up four of them in my bedroom and I'm fucking the wife for the federal government. That's what I'm fucking doing. All right. I'm going to give them spike Lee angles on that shit. (laughs) I will cut them a video together and put it online just to (laughs) fuck with them. 
<laughs> oh my like god. I'm shooting, like I'm shooting fucking black clansmen. Oh, this is gonna be fucking great. I'm gonna win an Oscar for this shit. <laughs> I'd be like, don't look on there unless unless you like big dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my safe word is pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. <laughs> Fuck it. My safe word is pineapple juice. Ooh, you're strong. What's your safe word? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Behind every strong man's a, a, a sensitive what? <laughs> or something? I don't remember. Behind every strong man. Every strong man got a sensitive side. Watch your fingers, yeah. old man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I still I still say that shit constantly. Watch your fingers, booty old man. <laughs> <sighs> That's my flash drive. <laughs> Don't is, look on there. Don't look on there unless you like pictures of big dick. That is change. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long it took me to acquire those? <laughs> Some of those are limited edition. Oh my god, that video that video lives in my head rent free, hands down. Like it's, it's a oh, fucking. Man. It's one of those man. goddamn videos I just can't fucking get. I can't get out of my head. I can't. So I'm 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 honestly surprised. I expected to see you in like a bright yellow shirt today. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. That's that's gonna be my around the house shirt when I'm not on camera. <laughs> Nobody can ever find out. Yeah, it's actually a really nice shirt. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, it's very like he spent some fucking money on that. I do that 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 package. All the just the cigars alone were like sixty bucks. Yeah, fucking okay. So anybody, anybody wondering, Jer sent me a Montana Care package uh, that the that the USPS fucking mangled. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, what the up. fuck did they do to my box? <laughs> oh my god, that shit was hilarious. It showed up. It was all fucked up and shit. And I love. It looked I, like it, it. It looked like. It looked like when Ace Ventura delivered the package at the, at, at the beginning of the movie. It did. Oh, my God. <laughs> DHS coming <laughs> through. <laughs> like, like was, did your, was, your, was your mailman, like, kicking field goals with it? Like, what the fuck? It was fucking ridiculous. And, and I, love, I love, too, like, the box was all fucked up and mangled, and on the outside it said fragile. <laughs> <laughs> did it? Yeah. They just fuck because you sent me a shot glass too. <laughs> like, I did. Fuck. I did. Okay, so by the way, guys, I've got a lot of Montana stuff up for sale in my store. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where's your legendary Montana hat? God damn it. Oh my god. Fuck it. There's so much fucking Montana shit in there. Like I have more Montana shit than people in Montana. Like <laughs> you have more Montana shit than I do. <laughs> Yeah, it's, dude. It's, and I got a fucking flag hanging up right over there. I'm gonna let you know right now that magnet is on the fridge. By the way, that that is magnet it? is on the yeah. I, I put the magnet on the fridge. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna put my I love Montana sticker. Uh, on the back of your windshield, obviously. No, absolutely <laughs> not. I'm not fucking permanently affixing <laughs> Montana to my truck. <laughs> Texas edition Titan with a big ass Montana sticker on the back. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh that, my God. That guy's more confused than the Tennessee shooter. Uh, have you smoked any of the scars yet? Not yet. I'm I'm going to, I'm going to fire one up probably uh, when I do the one nation under fire podcast, but um, fucking, Oh, so yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the, uh, the trans community's latest fucking uh, donation to the fucking gun violence scare. My God, is it weird to anybody else that the last three mass shooters have been transgender? I think I think that guns are not the problem. I think that dudes wanting to be chicks are. What 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 now? Yeah, the t uh, have you not heard about the Tennessee shooting? I heard about the Tennessee shooting, and that particular one was yeah. transgender. Oh yeah, there's been there's been like three transgender mass shooters. Three of them. Three fucking dude. I don't know, man. I guess I losing your balls make you lose your common sense. I don't know. Fucking I identify as the woman. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I, mean, I, just we think, all I, think, I think it's funny that we live in a country where, where you can't dress your kid up as an Indian, but a grown man can pretend to be a woman. I mean, 
I mean, if you want to be a lady, be a lady. I don't. I I could care less. Yeah. Like like if you're a good person, that's all I give a shit about. Yeah. But but uh, but let me let me let you know right now that like all of the transgenders, it's like, ma'am, like settle down. All right, you still have a beard and your balls. Like, <laughs> you know. Let let's cut the fucking let's cut the gender shit out. Oh, I, n- and and oh, somebody actually fucking said this, and I laughed hysterically. Like, okay, so the Tennessee shooting is a fucking it's a tragedy. Uh, for everybody involved, uh, let's just get that out of the way right now. But we're going to shit talk it a little bit because fucking like the Democrats immediately, immediately, as they as soon as they found out the shooter was transgender, they were like, let's not misgender the shooter. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about the fucking pronouns of the shooter. Like they, they should just identify as a piece of shit because that's what they are. But. Well, well, they're a dead piece of shit. That's so. if, oh, they got folded the fuck up. <laughs> Fold, <laughs> oh my god, Andy's coming. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. All the memes, the memes were so they were so top tier. <laughs> it was amazing. I'm not, I'm not seeing memes right now. Uh, I, I am not on Facebook or Instagram right now. I refuse wow. to use. I refuse to use Meta right now. I refuse yeah, I, to. I, I guess you know that's that's one way to make a statement. <laughs> I, a person who nobody fucking recognizes anyway, have refused to use. I've any been form recognized, of you son of a bitch. I have been recognized since we started talking. Yeah. So yeah, since we started talking, you didn't get recognized before that, but. Uh, I did. They did. Fuck like you. fucking. Oh my god, that shit was. Oh, I had ex- actually had a I had a, a buddy of mine Facetime me today, and uh, fucking he was sitting there. Apparently they they showed him the uh, the gas station holdup video, where I was telling that fucking story, oh, and yeah. uh, and it, he's sitting there showing him, and and fucking my buddy's like, yeah, yeah, uh, he's a pretty funny guy, so he Facetimes me, and he's like, hey man, I want you to say hey to somebody. I said, okay. He turns the phone around. The guy looks down. He goes, <laughs> "Like sup, fucker." <laughs> <laughs> and the look on his face was just beautiful. He's like, "That's the guy." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, that guy can see you right now." <laughs> like, this is live, motherfucker. This isn't TiVo, okay? <laughs> Ah, remember, remember how excited we were for the days of TiVo? Like, bro, I don't even have to put a t- tape in the VCR. VCR for those kids that are wondering. That's how we used to have to watch movies. We couldn't. They just didn't come from the magic box behind the TV. Oh my God, the magic box behind the TV. You talking about just the TV now? Fucking yeah, yeah, just the TV. Which by, I, th- I think I might have to update my TV now. Oh, yeah, I updated mine when my TV took a shit. Mine's, yeah. It started, it started getting fucking weird. Yeah, this one, this one, uh, I was watching uh, Ninja Turtle cartoons. Shut the fuck up. But but, uh, I was watching the old uh, OG Ninja Turtles cartoon, and whenever I have it on fucking Prime, it just shuts the fuck off. Weird. Yeah. And like it's that's not and then I had it on Netflix uh last night and probably it just you probably shouldn't be watching porn because I think that might have given your TV a virus. I I I watch porn on my phone like a regular American now. <laughs> a regular fucking <laughs> Oh my god. Remember that shit that I was asked one time, like what's the big difference between like when you were a kid and now? I was like, Well, when I was a kid, water was free and you had to pay for porn. Now it's the other like, way around. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the other like, way around. Like, like you had to, like as a kid, we had to work for our porn. Like it was a mission. Oh, dude! Like one of my, uh, one of my, one of my, one of my uh, stage bits that I did was fucking. Uh, I was describing like porn from my generation. I was like, you fucking, you fuckers don't know, okay? Fucking to get porn in my generation, we had to wait around till our parents fell asleep. And this is way before Skinamax. 
fucking we had to wait around till our parents fell asleep and we had to watch documentaries. Okay? We had to watch documentaries. They had fucking real sex and fucking pornocopia and all that shit. We were watching document we were watching behind the scenes of porn for porn. Okay? <laughs> Because they would just randomly splice in those fucking things. I don't want to hear anybody. I don't want to hear anybody's bullshit. Anybody my age has had to stop jacking off because they cut to an interview. Everybody, right? <laughs> fuck, that's, that's the thing. They cut to the interview and you're, oh, fuck. And real sex was mostly just like these old people that you didn't want to fucking see naked. Yeah. You're like, oh, God, put the... But they're fu- oh, I'm so not hard. I'm just going to go to bed. Right? I'm just, I'm just going <laughs> to fucking... Oh, I'm just going to... Just gonna use my imagination like some for- sort of Neanderthal. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking wait for Sex in the City to come on. <laughs> like, I'm gonna jack off to Sarah Jessica Parker again. <laughs> like that, uh, you, you fuckers don't know the the pain of of having to jack off to Sarah Jessica Parker. Fucking, this like ah, oh, somebody put a fucking bag over her head. Right, oh my God. Jesus Christ. She hasn't been even all right looking since Hocus Pocus. Yeah. And then, and then the fucking, uh, what was it? Bunny Ranch. <laughs> the Bunny Ranch. Fucking the Bunny Ranch. Bunny Ranch. Was, I, I, I could get down on Bunny Ranch. Bunny Ranch was fucking hilarious. Cause that, oh my God. They had like the dildo shows and everything. Like, fuck, like what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't oh. mind visiting, visiting the Bunny Ranch. Visiting the Bunny Ranch is it, it? I don't think it's open anymore. Probably not. I don't even think it's open anymore because I mean, fuck, man, I haven't seen a TV show on it in a while. <laughs> I think that's the only thing keeping it running, you know, besides the legal <laughs> prostitution. Fucking <laughs> fuck, that, yeah. Jesus Christ! Oh, they were, ran- and, and they were all like old playmates and stuff. Oh yeah, they were like they they were bitches way past their prime. <laughs> It's, it's like, like nobody will put yeah. me in a magazine anymore, but men will s- still pay to fuck me. Yeah, right. It's like fucking. Oh my god. It's like, why do they call them cougars? It's like, cause washed up bar slut sounds too negative. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh my. God. Oh my god. That shit. Oh my god. That shit was funny as fuck. So, oh. like I like I told you the other day. There is a fucking movie missing from your unsung heroes of uh, cinema. Yeah. There's secondhand, a lot of movies. Secondhand Lions. Great. That is that is Haley Joel Osmond's best work. You know, I don't I don't give a shit what any of you if you say six cents, go fuck yourself. I don't give a fuck. It's secondhand lions, hands down. Nah. Oh, no. such a great uh, Such a great fucking movie, dude. It was a good movie, but I mean, like fucking, it, it this it, we're stacking that up with like falling down <laughs> and uh, and Boondock Saints. I, it falls a little short. I mean, it's no Boondock Saints, but it's still a great fucking movie. Oh man, it fucking it fucking Boondock Saints painted the Irish in such a great light, didn't it? <laughs> Made me proud. Oh, Made my. me fucking proud. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Oh, dude, you watch you watch the Boondock Saints if you ever want to fucking like piss off liberals. Because <laughs> there's <laughs> there's so much we're gonna get canceled in that fucking movie. I, I'm ready for the third one. I'm ready too, man. Fucking dude, I uh I, I messaged Troy like a few years back because fucking I was like, when are you fucking putting this shit out, guys? By the way, the guy that did the Boondock Saints, his name's Troy Duffy. He's uh really down to earth. He's just a regular dude. Just <laughs> regular fucking guy. <laughs> like you can fucking you can message him and he'll message back. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say, fucker? Uh, he said he said they're they're waiting on funding. So Oh, god damn it. If yeah. I had the money, if I had the money, I'd be like, "Here." <laughs> yeah, they're waiting on fund cuz uh the the first one was uh what was it? Stage 6 and then the second one was Studio Canal. Like fucking like no major fucking like I don't understand why major fucking film companies are not like throwing money at Troy. Like get another one out. Like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Yeah, because fucking Boondock Saints too, man. That that released in select theaters for like a week. <laughs> like oh, his movies are independent as fuck, but they're fucking they're brilliant. great. 
They're fucking great. Like how I mean, some I, like how some studio hasn't just swooped in and been like, here, sign this contract for your next four movies. Yeah, it's right. Like fucking beyond me. I mean, for fuck's sake, he had Willem Dafoe in these films. Yeah, and <laughs> William Dafoe playing a gay man. Willem, god call, damn it, call, Willem. Willem. His, his name's not William, okay? William Defoe. No, Willem Defoe, motherfucker. All right, Willem Defoe playing a gay man, calling another gay man fag, and stick forks <laughs> in my eyes if Stop. I ever say that. Stop, again. we're going to get canceled. We're going to get canceled. That fucking... I'm sorry, but that's a great part of the movie. It is. <laughs> I mean, fucking. When he's like, he's like, he's like, what are you doing? I want to cuddle. Cuddle, fag. what a fag! <laughs> That's a great <laughs> part of the movie. Uh, or when he fucking when he dresses in drag. <laughs> <laughs> it was not appealing looking at all. At all, like he he looked like he looked like Caitlyn Jenner, like. <laughs> and that dude wanted to fuck his brains out. Oh, it was gonna be fuck. He was it was gonna be on like Donkey Kong. He's fucking. Like, he was like, let's oh. go. Oh, reportedly, by the way, uh, Scream 7 is going to feature Caitlyn Jenner in, in some sort of role. I'm like, what, what's what's the fucking ro- male weathers? Like, what the fuck is going on here? There's going to be a... Jesus. Yeah, there's going to be a Scream 7, and it's going to be good. It's going to be good. If they, if they keep doing what they're doing, it's going to be really good. I can't wait. I can't wait. I hope, I hope fucking, I hope Matthew Lillard comes back. Wow. Wow. Matthew Lillard is fucking, that is an unsung hero of cinema right there. That motherfucker has been in so many fucking classics. Like he was in, he was in fucking Scream. He was in fucking Scooby-Doo. Had a small role on uh, Criminal Minds. Like fucking... (laughs) Like it, it, dude, he fucking makes some badass shit. The fucking SLC punk. Like, who in their right mind thought it was a good idea to make a fucking punk movie about Utah? Like, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought they killed him off in the first one. Okay, so if you if you follow Matthew Lillard's Twitter, right? It's actually he's actually put out a fucking post about this. He's done multiple interviews. He's like, come on, guys, it was just a TV. You really think that's gonna kill somebody? It fell on his head from a height of like two feet. Granted, it was one of those old school fucking TVs, right? Box TV. Box another TV. Big, what's what's another, the big another box? Thing atta- you kids would know nothing fucking about. What's the big box attached to the TV? That's the rest of the TV. <laughs> fucking They're heavier than shit. <laughs> oh my god, they were so fucking heavy for like a fucking twenty-eight inch television. I I remember for years my. My uh, my grandparents had uh, my grandma Donna, my grandpa Bud. They had one of those like TVs left over from the '70s where it was like the TV, the record, record player, player, the speakers. The fuck, yeah, giant fucking box. G- giant fucking box. The floor model. <laughs> oh my god, dude! F- like big screen TVs back when I was a kid were way different than big screen TVs now. Oh, so. Like, like, okay, so, so I can lift, I can lift my 65 inch TV myself. I bear hugged it up on the fucking stand. A no fucking, problem. yeah, no a problem. big screen TV from like the, the old school fucking rear projection fucking TVs. Oh my God. You need four people to lift that fucking thing. Hey, hey guys, come over. We're, we're going to have pizza and beer. All right. You're like, ha ha. Gotcha fuckers. First, yeah, you right. got to get this son of a bitch out. <laughs> Yeah, fucking, oh my God. And, and God help you if you fucking dropped it. God help you. The, those old school fucking, like the, the rear projections. God help you. It, I don't understand how they had fucking, how they had those in like California, right? I mean, I don't understand how they have like people in California. Like, I don't I understand how California is still a fucking state at this point. Uh, all, right, all right, move on. We get it. You hate California. Fuck California, goddamn People's Republic of California. Now, fucking, like, just an earthquake would take that fucking TV out. Like, a small fucking earthquake would fuck up that picture beyond recognition. Like, it was just done. Oh, it's like, God. It's like, it's like why, why are the colors blending together? What? 
What? Okay, why? Why is Donald Trump orange? Oh no, he's he's just normally orange. <laughs> oh my! Oh, speaking of trans people, Tony, you'll <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get canceled. You're gonna love this story. All right. So this okay. is back in my this you you're gonna be like <gasps> like like this get is get on with the I, story, fuck ass. All right. Anyways, so this is the days back when I'm living in L.A. All right, and some of them trans people, pretty tricky. I'm I'm I'll, I'll give them that. Some of them are pretty tricky. Like fucking lady boys. But they are she's. God damn it. But <laughs> lady boys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, so it's uh, it's just a typical night. I'm doing a bunch of open mics, and I go to this one open mic, and my friend Cass is there, and she's a pretty famous, predominant trans woman, and she's got her friend with her. Her friend's visiting from out of the country in Norway, and I'm like, oh, Norway? I think you've actually told this story already. Have I? Yeah, I think this was like episode three. You're just mulching over the same shit. So you do speak, it all the fucking. You do so it all the fucking. Speaking of trans time. people, let's talk about those fucking weirdos. Uh, <laughs> I do not condone what Tony says on this podcast. I just want that out there. Let's talk about those fucking Marys. Jesus Christ, we're so gonna get canceled. Those fucking pansies. Now, fuck. Carry yeah. on. Just get on with it. <laughs> oh. So, so fucking, uh, yeah, they're, they're inserting trans into just about everything now. Everything has to have a fucking trans thing. But, uh, but yeah, fucking like just, uh, the, the swimmers and the fucking, the sports and all that shit. I just can't fucking, I can't keep up with it. I can't. And I, I really don't care. <laughs> I really don't fucking care. Like it's fucking, if you want to be a woman, be a woman, but it's fucking take some steps. Okay, you can't just fucking say I'm a woman and no, you're not. That's like me saying I'm a woman. No, 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 no nobody's gonna believe that shit. Like it's just fucking ridiculous. Like, it's, well, you, I feel this way, so you have to fucking respect that. Okay, I said flat to fuck out. I said this shit like fucking ten on, well, no, almost fifteen years ago now. That that's gonna open the door for fucking uh, fucking kitty diddlers and fucking rapists and all that shit. I don't identify. Oh. I don't identify as a rapist. Fucking, I identify as somebody who didn't ask consent, and she didn't say no. I don't know about all that, but in Tony's favor, I will say, uh, at my home comedy club in L.A., Flappers, great place. Check it out. Um, sounds we, like a really. That sounds like an old woman titty bar. It's not. It's a comedy club in the valley. Yeah. It's just, it's just they're taking off their fucking because I mean that's what titties do when they get old they flap. Anyways, here's Anyways. another ten spot, Grandma. <laughs> and so there was this, uh, there was this woman. It closes at seven so they can watch Murder She Wrote. Uh, they all go over to Jerry's house. There was this woman who I had no clue was a fucking woman, but it. But, like, I was talking about them one day, and it was very obvious to me that they were gay. But, like, I was like, all right, well, you know, whatever. But then I'm talking to somebody one day, and they're like, oh, well, she identifies as a woman. I was like, really? And they were like, yeah, really. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, but the beard fucking threw me. All right? <laughs> I was like, I was like, that's that is a massive beard. Yeah, this is the fucking bearded lady. I was like, I was like, if that's a woman, I'll call, I'll, I'll call her her. That's, that, I'm fine by that. But that is, that is one hell of a beard. I'm just saying. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Ugh. I don't think I've, I don't think I've said anything like just openly fucking offensive to anybody. This whole podcast. Well, I've said, I've said some things, and Jerry's just let him go because Jerry's fucking numb to my shit now. <laughs> I gotta work really hard to offend Jerry. It's it's he's just he's just letting shit go, man. He's just fucking he let the antique farm equipment joke go. He let he let I said Jew bastard one day and he was just like, well, whatever, you know, fucking that's normal. 
Like, <laughs> I even got him to say jar topper. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> I'd say you have no proof of that, but you clearly have proof of that. Yeah, clearly, clearly have proof of that. That was on the podcast. Uh, I think, yeah, I think the only thing I've said that, you know, we're going to get canceled for is, uh, yeah, the fucking, the fucking, you know, the lady boys oh. comment. Oh, Jesus. Uh, fucking that's okay. So let's start there. Uh, fuck. <laughs> You know, it's not a point you have to hit. I think the I think the most interesting thing, and you know, I'll 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 offend somebody after you know after we get into this, but I'll offend everybody after we get into this. Fucking uh, so so the fucking Trump was indicted apparently for giving oh, hush yeah. money to a to, for giving hush money to a porno star, and I didn't know that giving hush money was illegal. I, I didn't either. I had and no she, idea. She, she accepted it too. Yeah, she shut the fuck up, didn't she? Fucking yeah. They're oh. like, hey, you 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 got the money. You're supposed to shut the fuck up. That I was mean, the don't deal. get me don't, don't get me wrong. I fucking hate Trump. Um, and I am laughing my ass off right now. I'm like, ah, ha, ha. good. Like, like I can't wait to watch you be toted away in cuffs. If but if giving like, hush money is illegal, most of Congress should be in fucking jail. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. All right, fucking, I don't like Trump. I, I personally don't like him. I mean, I fucking hate Biden, but I dislike Trump because he, he's- I fucking hate both of them. He was a weak president. Okay, let's get that out in the open. He was a weak fucking president. He signed into fucking law, the red flag warrants, enforcements, and fucking, and uh, the bump stock ban and all that shit. He basically set it up to where Congress and the executive branch don't have to talk anymore. Like the to fuck the executive branch just like changes rules. They just move the goalposts. That's all they fucking do. And don't get me wrong, Congress is a bunch of fucking assholes too. But yeah, like like it's it's clear we we need to we need to send the cleaning crew in. Yeah, we need another president like W. <laughs> oh my god. We need to get G Dub back. I remember I remember when Trump went to North Korea and I'm listening to to all these reports about like how him and Kim Jong Un like like they were very cordial and very polite to each Kim, other and Kim Jong Un sir whatever yeah. fuck it. fuck that communist anyway yeah fuck those slopes now I didn't say that good Jesus Christ we're gonna get canceled but anyways basically Trump went over there and was just like oh, 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 oh. Just like, I was just like, first of all, like, first I'll of grab all, the back of my own head. First of all, your mouth was way too wide for fucking those, uh, those chinks dicks. All right. Fucking shut the fuck up. They got, they shut got, shut the fuck up. I mean, historically, just stereotypingly, they have like little dicks, right? Fucking. And that, that was courtesy of the American government. We bond them so fucking hard in world war two that even their dicks got smaller, but fucking <laughs> Yeah, their dicks won't even come out. They're like, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. That wasn't Big even dick. the same country, dickweed. I know, but, you know, they, fuck, they all look alike. Now. Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. He didn't. He didn't mean that. He didn't fucking mean that. Oh, yeah, I did. No, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. And close enough. I mean, fuck. Rice no. is rice. Fucking. You're not Joe <laughs> Coy. It's not okay for you to fucking say that. I'll say whatever the fuck I want. All right. But anyways, I rem I remember that was my last season of commercial fishing. And I remember all the fishermen on the on the fucking CB radio. It's just like, oh yeah, Trump went over there and basically fucking bitch slapped at. Insert Chink. a word. <laughs> insert a word Tony would say. Chink. Slow. <laughs> Yeah, something to that effect is what they were saying. Yeah, and I zips. was like, fucking zips. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. We're so going to get canceled. You're so going to get canceled. Those fucking pinkos. Oh, and I was like, oh, I have a new one. I have a new one. Keep they're it to yourself. They're, they're communists, right? So they're pinkos, but they're slopes. So we just call them chinkos. That is the new term for Asian communist. All right. Fucking stamp it on a fucking lunchbox. Sell it. Chinkos. Oh, God. That will not be available in our merch store. <laughs> oh, 
fucking chinkos. I love it. I love it. It sounds it sounds like a it, it sounds like a shitty Chinese knockoff of a fucking uh like scanner company. <sighs> Jesus Christ. But anyways, all the fishermen were like Gah! like just jacking off to Trump going over there. And they were just making their own shit up. They're like, he went over there and slapped the shit out of Kim. I was like, it kind of sounds like he went over there and choked on Kim. I mean, you know, <laughs> fucking Neville Chamberlain did it to Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to sign this. We're going to sign this agreement <laughs> and we're not going to get bombed. <laughs> and then next week they got the shit bombed out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler was like, stupid fool. <laughs> ah. All right, that, now back to the Jews. Like, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> oh. That was, it? that was not funny. That was, that was. <laughs> funny. Oh. And then finally he was like, you know what? Get fucking Churchill in here. Yeah, right? Churchill <laughs> with his long ass fucking cigar. We'll fight him on the beaches. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love Churchill, though. Ah, oh, oh, Ch Churchill was fucking great. <laughs> Churchill was a bad. We have nothing to fear, but fear itself. Like, that doesn't make any sense, but God damn it, I'm inspired. I, I think that was Roosevelt that said that. <laughs> oh, that was Roosevelt. <laughs> yeah, I, think a, I don't think that was Churchill. I think that was Roosevelt, dude. Oh, hold on! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fucking know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was fucking Roosevelt. But they talked very similar, so it could have been either one of them, <laughs> honestly. Uh, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Uh, good old fucking, good old, uh, good old living color, by the way. It was a great fucking song. Oh yeah, you're right, Roosevelt. You're right. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty fucking sure. Like that sounds that sounds like something we'd say. <laughs> fucking still, still though, fucking Churchill's a badass. Yeah, Churchill was a badass. FDR, not so much. <laughs> like, FDR was like, well, get him. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> We're gonna get canceled. Fucking fuck. I can't believe I just did that live yeah. on camera. Yeah. FDR was like, we're gonna get him. It's just as long as it doesn't involve stairs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh fucking fucking FDR took uh took time off of playing fucking murder ball. <laughs> Oh my god. See, you're poisoning my mind, Tony. It's amazing. This is this is not good. This is not good. This is amazing. This is oh I, I'm so proud of you right now. You did you did the wheelchair motion and everything. Fucking me. That was great. Oh, not good. He's start he's starting to turn into me with his jokes. Look at that. He's actually gonna be funny now. You got to say it. You got to you got to say your thing. What? From Star Wars. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> I feel your anger growing inside you. <laughs> oh you my <laughs> Oh my god. That's fucked up. Why why have I become Palpatine? What the fuck, man? <laughs> oh no. And usually you do a better impression. I'm just going to say that. I mean, it was, it was on the spot. You put me on the spot. <laughs> but fuck. Oh, my God. It's fucking all oh, the wheelchair. It's fucking. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. What's wrong with me? What I think the great. I think the greatest me? part is like fucking he never let like footage of him in the chair get out. Like it was it was actually against a lot of film him in the chair. Was it? Yeah, like he he would not let anybody film him in the chair. He had to he had to get his fucking polio leg locks, his little Force Gumps. He had to get them shits up. 
and he had to be standing. Oh my god! And can, I, I just want to say, I, I don't, I, I remember we touched upon this, but I don't remember if we touched upon it on the podcast or not. Like, thank God they did not follow Forrest Gump up with a sequel. Like, <laughs> I think yeah, like, we, we actually did. We actually did. Fucking, uh, I, 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 I actually love the poster though that they mocked up for Forrest Gump too, where Tom Hanks has got the gun pointed and said, "Shrimping ain't easy." <laughs> what? Look it up, dude. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, uh, <laughs> I have not seen that. Yeah, fuck. It was. It was. It was a. It was actually pretty fucking funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like fucking. Woo. By the way, uh, Forrest Gump. I love. I love the fact that, that movie was like really, really fucking racist, but everybody let it go because Forrest Gump was a retard. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. He's he's just he's lost in the fucking la la land now. He wants to see this fucking poster. Like he he let the word retard go right past him. Fucking look at that shit. I, I no I heard. I it. can literally I can literally say anything right now. I can say anything right now, and Jared's just not going to be no, fucking you involved. No, Oh uh, fucking. That's not that's not that great. Oh. Uh, fucking Jew bastards. <laughs> Fuck off, Tony. I can still fucking hear you. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, I've 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 been going pretty uh pretty good on the fucking Indians recently. I need, I think I need to lay off the Indians. I think everybody needs to lay off the Indians personally. Fucking, or I mean, just hey, fucking finish the job. Now, <laughs> no, no. And I mean, we already have all their land, like. Not all of it. There's <laughs> always more. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Native Americans, by the way. Native Americans? Fucking Indians. <sighs> Dear Lord, if you happen to exist or be up there, probably not, but please don't let my best friend see this fucking episode of the podcast. Why? Why? Because he is full-blooded Blackfoot, motherfucker. He's white trash? No, he's Native American. Those are the people that had the black feet. Jesus Christ. It's a tribe, you motherfucker. There's, there's the, yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of fucking trailer parks. Like, fuck, they're, this... they're a big tribe. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Uh, anyways, I hope to get a fucking link to the show to you guys soon. Yeah, By the hopefully. way, I, hopefully. I texted I texted JD. I was like, I'm just bringing an air mattress. I'm just going to throw it on your floor. And he was like, he was like, all right. And I was like, I was like, what would you do if you left your if you left your house house trailer? <laughs> damn. Just call the man out like that. And I was like, you came back and there was a sock on your door. <laughs> uh, that means he that means Jer found the sheep farm. <laughs> He'd probably try to bust in there Tony style. <laughs> fucking oh my god! Oh, by the way, last night I was at the bar last night and uh, fucking I <laughs> I fucking uh, texted JD because. Uh, I got a I got a buddy of mine who's a who's a personal trainer and we're gonna fucking like hit the gym together and shit. Uh, but like I was uh I was saying I was saying yeah like fucking you know one of my gym buddies if he lived down here would be Rip Redneck, and uh, I showed him a picture of Rip Redneck and this this gentleman is gay, and he he's like he's like <laughs> he was like wow not Rip Redneck he's not gay that I know of but. The gentleman. We I'm have our about. we 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 have our suspicions. Yeah. So, so fucking <laughs> like I uh I showed him the picture and he said and I quote, um I have a checklist that I go over, and he's checked all the boxes. So I texted him. I'm like, hey, by the way, uh, <laughs> by the way, just letting you know, uh, my bartender <laughs> says you're his fucking soulmate. So uh, I, he, he's going to subscribe to the OnlyFans, and and I want you to take care of him, okay? I want you to take care of him. All, you primo butthole picks, okay? Primo. 
And he texts back, I fucking hate you. <laughs> it was just fucking great. I was like, you know, I get to fuck with Jer every week. Uh, I only get to fuck with JD when there's when there's cause for it, you know, when there's reason to. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't I don't get to I don't get to, you know, give him a heart attack every week like I fucking do with Jer. And speaking of which, um, I was not there. I was not because like I like I, I went covert when I sent Tony his package. Like I like I didn't tell him I sent it. I like I was I was I was messaging Daisy and be like, it's like tell Tony to check his mailbox and do a and then and I told her I said tell him to do a video reaction. And then the mother, live. yeah, and he did it on live. I was like, God damn it! Yeah. I was like, I, I need to see this. So here in the description, if you if you didn't happen to be there, uh, because like I said, Tony, I need to see this. And so he made a YouTube video out of it. So I think we should include that here in the description for the viewers. Well, hold on a minute. First off, first off, I'm only going to include it for fucking Patreon. All right. All right. All right. I'm only going right. to include it for Patreon because it's a linked video. It's unlisted. You can't find this fucking video anywhere. The only way that you actually can find this video is if you have the link. That's it. So I'm going to include it on the Patreon. So if you're watching right. this on YouTube, go fuck yourself. <laughs> right? Maybe you should spend more money on the Patreon. How about that one? Yeah, fucking, how about that one? Yeah. yeah. Fucking Oh. And it was it was just Yeah, cuz he wasn't sure. Like he wasn't sure that it was me that sent it. He's like, "I think Jer sent it." I, I think. think it's either Jer or Salty. One, one of these two. Like And then I then I started seeing price tags on everything and I'm like, I'm like, "Oh, fucking Salty had to have sent this cuz Jer's never going to spend the money on this shit." <laughs> they weren't little price tags either they weren't like who the fuck is paying for that like jesus christ who the fuck is paying 40 dollars for a montana hoodie this guy <laughs> who the fuck is paying 17 dollars for a hat that that i think that shirt alone was like 30 something yeah, it's fucking, it was ridic like ridiculous pricing, ridiculous pricing, like fucking, and I love, I love to, like, I fucking said it in the video, like legendary Montana, I think you mean fictional, <laughs> fucking <laughs> fantasy, Montana doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> well, I got, wow. I got the Montana doesn't exist in on this podcast too. Yes, there we go. <laughs> and it makes sense. <laughs> like, it's not just me saying it. No, it's just, it fucking, there was a build up to this one. That was nice. Well, yeah, Tony is always going on about how fucking Montana doesn't exist. So I was like, fuck this guy. I was like, I am putting a Montana care package together for this son of a bitch. I'm going to get Jer. I'm going to get Jer a new hat. It's, I'm going to get him one of these. <laughs> what fucking does that say? Shooters. Oh, oh. It's, uh, it's one of the gun stores down here. Gotcha. It is like a, it's like a fucking target. That's <laughs> actually pretty funny, but uh, you see what I did there? No, but uh, it's, <laughs> it's like a tar it's like a target for guns. It's fucking awesome. They have literally everything, everything you, you need, could possibly think of. You need to take me there. Yeah, fucking you know, it might just you know change your liberal point of views. You might be a born again fucking conservative. Uh, let's not get too far. <laughs> no, no, he he's he's, just, he's gonna be a libertarian just like daddy. But. <laughs> You did not just refer to yourself as daddy. Fuck yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I'll never refer to you as daddy. Oh That's my God. I'm so excited. Next week, my fucking, my, my Casey Jones statue is coming. I'm going to put it right here on the desk next to the computer. Ah, it's going to look so good next to daddy's laptop. Ah, oh, you're such a fag. And and the stripper fucking, loves me, god damn it. The stripper does not love you, Jer. And it's going to look really nice next to Daddy's laptop. Uh, you mean that fucking piece of shit Windows computer you got? I am going to get the Mac. I just Daddy's laptop is this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one that gets everything fucking done. <laughs> that's that's Daddy's laptop. You haven't even read the screenplay yet, have you? I forgot you sent that. <laughs> that is forgot. your fucking homework for today. 
because we are going to we're going to talk about it discreetly on the podcast here in a couple of weeks. Discreetly. Oh, my God. He's using those fucking he's using those call girl terms. <laughs> fucking discreet. But uh, I think we got to wrap it, Tony. I think we do. I think we got to wrap it up. I mean, I've yeah. been less offensive on this episode than I have in a while. This, uh, I'm actually kind of ashamed of myself right now. It's fucking I'm so horrible. proud. I'm so proud. Becoming a real man. Oh. So, but, uh, uh, let's, let's in closing, uh, let's in closing, let's, let's talk about, uh, I'm going to remind everybody fucking Jews, chinks, pankos, fucking <laughs> this is a rapid fire, you know, kind of like we're, the Jews, but <laughs> we're so going to get canceled. <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely by, love it. By me, apparently we're going to get canceled by my hand. Yeah, because you're the one doing the fucking wheelchair shit. <laughs> I still can't believe I let that shit fucking slip. I think, uh, I think fucking, I think Chinkos. That's a, that's a great, that's a great fun. Uh, no, oh, no. That one's no. not going away anytime soon. It, yes, it is. All right, we need to fucking <laughs> right out of here. Yeah, fucking, no, we're not going to do that. Oh, gonna, God. I'm going to, I'm going to have deaf people saying that shit. Chinkos! No. But. Anyways, keep your eyes open for the, uh, for the ticket link. Uh, we'll have it when we have it, I guess. Whenever it gets released. You yeah. Know, this, this shows, uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not another Chicago situation. Hopefully not. Hopefully yeah. not. I can't wait for the show here in Jax. That's going to be fucking sweet. Then I have to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That yawn came out of fucking nowhere. <sighs> I I was I was getting ready to fucking I was like I was like well Tony's gonna be a while I was I was getting ready to just like I'm just gonna take me a little nap. Why did you get so fucking gay? <laughs> take me because a I did. You take me a little nap. <laughs> but uh yeah uh, follow our social medias uh but uh, if you're on Instagram. I'm not going to be on there for a while. Yeah. I'm not, post, not posting. I'm not interacting with anything. Nothing on Facebook. I'm, I'm, I'm almost never on Facebook anyway, but. I'm going to so, be on Facebook. I'm still going to be there. Because I don't give a fuck. But uh, if, uh, if we're able to work this shit out, I shall return. Yeah. And fucking Jair's holding his fucking meta hostage. Ooh, him and his fucking five followers. <laughs> They're gonna miss him. Uh, guys, I'm gonna I, show. I'm gonna show Mark Zuckerberg. God damn it! Uh, I would. I would encourage everybody to reach out to their congressmen and tell them to uh, to not support the Restrict Act, and that if they do, you will do everything in your power during during their primaries. It's a very important part during their primaries to fu- to get them fired from their job. Yeah. Fucking we actually had this discussion. We were talking about uh we were talking about the restrict act with uh with a lot of social media people and I said I said basically man fucking we're fighting the same battle just you know in different different parts. Cuz yeah. the restrict act, I mean, they're fucking trying to push that shit through just like they're trying to push gun legislation through. And you guys know me. <laughs> Any law is infringement. Like, like it'll put me and this guy. It could potentially put me and this guy out of a job, but it's an invasion. Could. It's an invasion of your fucking privacy, though. Yeah. And like, like we're not the only ones that are going to be affected. No, it's no, not at all. Everybody, everyone, everyone. You know, just like gun legislation affects everyone. <laughs> fucking shit. Goddamn, you fucking. Com- California, New York, fucking so Chicago. I, so I encourage you to reach out to your to your congressional uh, representatives. Let them know that you do not wish for them to back this fucking bill. Yeah, and tell them to go fuck themselves on gun legislation. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we love you. Yeah, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you mm-hmm. next week. 
Yeah. And uh, I'm going to write some really racist jokes for next week, guys. I'm just, you know, fucking, I'm going to sit down and I'm really going to, I'm really going to take it to everybody to make up for not doing it a lot on this episode. <laughs> it's going to be all Jeez. next episode, the entire thing, just the whole fucking thing. <laughs> uh, until next time, guys. I'm going to fucking put Jared in a goddamn early grave. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I don't yeah. doubt it. So, uh, love you guys. <laughs> Bye.